What's up guys? Back to you with another banger. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. So, as you can see what's next to me, we got a review on a 2015 GTR. So we're gonna cover so many aspects of the car, performance, you know, leg room, and pros, cons, stuff like that. But it's hot, sun is blaring, but no matter what, we're gonna get this started today, so. And you see what's crazy is people who know me knows how much of like they just know how much this car means to me so the fact that i have this opportunity to do it today means the most to me so what we're going to do is we're going to get the owner to come out here which is a very cool guy laid back down to earth anybody who knows me knows that you know i like to you know have my little drinks here and there so and he's the same thing so we're gonna get that going well my name is daniel this is my GTR, my 2015 GTR. Uh, don't got a lot done to it, just exhaust. I blacked out the wheels, did a little bit of interior pieces. Uh, overall, just maintained it. I've had it for about three and a half years, so um, mainly just been keeping up with it because it was my daily for the longest. Uh, now, of course, it sits in the garage and uh, I drive my other car on my bike. And uh, now I'm planning on paying it off and eventually doing a full build on it. Um, you know, I don't want the transmission brake, so I want to do the transmission. I do plan on getting the wheels, uh, suspension. I do have some springs for it. I just haven't put them on. Um, of course, do full bolt-ons on the engine first, and then eventually get onto the block and, uh, you know, do a full engine build. Uh, I've always wanted a GTR since the Fast and the Furious came out, um, but, you know, I never thought I could own one. Um, then, all of a sudden, at my last job at CarMax, somebody traded in so I did my hardest to try to get it eventually you know I was able to get the funds to get it um, you know it's been a little bit of a struggle at first but then I got another job got adjusted and I was able to you know maintain it and uh, it got me to where I'm at right now I got it with 41k when I got it um, now I have about 87 and hopefully keep it right there I don't want it to go over 90 until I you know get the full build on it then eventually you know take it out to the track or you know street racing and hang out at the car meets mm -hmm. now guys he's always got he's even got a matching bike we're gonna get probably get on that later it might be another vlog for future purposes but um it's it's a build he's put a lot of work into the bike also and it's kind of matching of the car which is pretty dope so i might have to get like a picture or side by side with that but it's a uh, it's a dope opportunity. I appreciate him for letting me do the review on the car. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into more, more now the interior, because you guys know the exterior are. It's, it's, it's a mean car. It's, you know what a GTR is. So that's the next step of this video. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, thank you for having given us the opportunity to do your car, my brother. So now we're gonna get and hop into the interior. Nope. So now we're sitting in the interior right now. Um, really dope interior. I know um, 2012 on up is pretty much where they actually started um, like redoing the interior and making them look a lot better. Because I know previous years before that, they were, you know, they were kind of trash. But at the end of the day, you know, that was the peak. They were coming out and you know, these cars were mainly focused on performance and you, you really can't beat you know what this car comes with and especially you know for the price but now they're kind of going up more now so you know i understand all of that um like the leg room and i'm a little bit taller than him but man like i i have good leg room um feet really aren't bent too much pedals right here it's not too bad i mean i, I can't complain with it uh steering wheel uh, paddle shifters. He's had the carbon fiber. He has the steering wheel redone. Uh, this is real carbon fiber. He has it um, redone and shipped, and he has also the carbon fiber center console that he's done. Um, knob, 
Everything's been done on him. And man, this interior is ridiculous. I love it. 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 Passenger side's really comfortable. I mean, crazy leg, man. I almost feel like I'm almost in my Challenger. Like, you know, the leg runs really well. Seats are very comfortable. Um, it's definitely a nice upgrade as opposed to um, the earlier models. They, they've they definitely come out and Nissan's done a great, great thing with these cars, man. Um, a lot of bang for your buck, for sure. Um, it comes with the Bose, Bose system. Car is really nice. Now, one thing I will say: back seat. It's not much. Not much back seat. Not, not, not much back seat. Um, I, I, I personally think it's just better off being a two-seater. Um, but it's cool. But it's cool. You know, when you get the car, you know what you're getting into. You know, it looks nice. You know, got the big. Big bowls back there. Radio system sounds amazing. Um, you know, I have no complaints though. I mean, I might, I might be biased being that this is my dream car, but you know, um, it's not the best interior. However, when you get a car like this, you you can't just strictly look for interior. It's 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 pointless. It's you know what you're getting. So like, what's you know. It is what it is, man. There's cup holders, you know. Can't complain with the cup holders. Yeah, know. You got two drinks. You can go ahead and do what you got to do. So, I mean, not much. Supercars, fast, fast cars. You know, a lot of times you get the Ferraris and Lambo, you're limited on cup holders. You got something fast like this, a.k.a. Godzilla, the supercar killer. You got two cup holders. So, you know, I like I like the carbon fibers. The carbon fibers really well. Um, if you're tall, I'm not that tall. I'm five ten. Um, but the leg room that I do have is, is immaculate. It's actually really comfortable. It's not too bad at all. Um, love it, man. They, they, they did the interior really well. Coming up, really well, really well for sure, for sure. Here, <laughs> call it as. Godzilla. It's a 3.8 liter twin turbo V6. Um, it bushes out about 545 to 600 horsepower. Um, can't beat it. It's like uh, 16 miles per gallon uh, city and like 23 miles per gallon uh, highway. Can't beat that, guys. For the power that this car bushes out, all wheel drive. Can't beat it, man. Can't beat it at all, bro. Beautiful car, beautiful engine, uh, stock, stock intakes. The only thing he has done is exhaust. Uh, nothing too major. Um, a lot of people talk about the transmission issues that the earlier models have. I tell you what, this is a 2015, and a lot of things have changed for this car. Everything's got redone. They've had to recall. Nissan brought everyone back. So Nissan definitely done it right. They did it how they were supposed to do it second time around and I commend Nissan for sure. Now he does have exhaust on it, uh, no downpipe or anything. And when you see why not, that's, that's his license plate. even have decent trunk space to say that this car is what it is there's decent trunk space you can probably hide a midget in here yeah a bit of a midget but it's dope you can still fit luggage suitcases bags go to the gym basketball whatever the situation may be so I mean you can't really can't argue with it it's really decent really decent size and being here in Texas, you need this windshield cover right here because it is so damn hot. You're welcome. <laughs>